Yes, I'm lock here. Boom, boom, boom. Green, bone brute dies. He loses three. Hits. Pops. Whoo! Okay. Back in action. Back in action. I wasn't sure myself. I... Welcome back, everybody, to the show. I am your host, as always, Jay Villain, aka that Villain Jay. And tonight we have a very special treat for you. Yes, we do. Why? Because we are running the secret skeletons, the mocking skeletons. It is here. We call it the grinning skulls. We had the flaming skulls before. We'll have the grinning skulls this time. This is going to be Demir skeletons, which I don't think I've done. And it has some of the more more interesting tech in it, specifically Mockingbird, uh, which I keep calling Mockingjay, um, and some other stuff like that to really, really bring it over. Because Skeletons was supported for a while. It kind of didn't really get much support in Bloomboro, but maybe it got some secret support that we can run it. So before we do this one, guys, I need you to do something for me, which is, of course, tenderly press that like button, gently press that subscribe button. Because if you don't, if you don't press that like and subscribe button, guys, I'm going to be honest with you. You're going to get attacked by the like and subscribe. It's just going to happen. Uh, you're going to get attacked by him. That's a YouTube werewolf who will viciously maul you and claw you for not liking the video and becoming a part of the channel today. Join us on a stream every night at twitch.tv slash thatvillainj for a live stream goodness. We would love to have you there live and in person on Twitch and on YouTube. You can hit that bell. You'll be notified when I go live on either one of them. Um... That's great, too. Check out our Discord for all the latest news, information, post your decks, post memes, ask questions. Our community lives on Discord, so if you want to check check that out, come on right down there. And, of course, this deck and all the other decks that I build are going to be available down below on my Aether Hub. So if you want a copy of this one, uh, if you want a copy, you want to get in on this delicious Demir right here, go right down to the Aether Hub and you will find a version for yourself. So what are we talking about with Demir Skeletons? There's a couple of tricks in here. There's a couple of tricks. It is a little bit different. So I am going to be throwing in some counter spells. Not very many, but the way that games are going right now, man, we need a little bit of air cover. Mostly what we're going to be doing um, is trying to stop board wipes. That's kind of what we need to st stop keep the counter spells for. The big, uh, the big banger um, spells that we need to throw it down. Um, we're going to go with. Three steps ahead, which is very useful for drawing cards right there. Uh, and, of course, countering target spell. That's fine. Two, three steps ahead is fine. For the um, for the other one, I'm going to put down Dazzling Denial, which is very useful. This is common, so this is easy to get right here. Uh, one blue and one instant. Counter target spell, unless it's a controller, plays two. I really like this because a lot of times in the early to mid game, people are playing their big showpiece spells like uh, Sunfall or something like that and they're tapping out all their mana or they don't have seven that makes Sunfall basically you have to have seven mana open and deny it the other thing that's fun about it is if you have a bird on the battlefield they have to pay four which is very cool also I really like hummingbirds and that's a really cool hummingbird right there so we do have birds in this deck we have mockingbird so that is why this is an extremely useful counter spell so if you don't have the three steps ahead you could go with all dazzling denial removal we're going removal heavy guys we need to clear traffic we need to plow that road dude uh we are going with cut downs bitter triumphs go for the throat i am not messing around with mono red anymore they are not filling the board up they're not loading me down with with mice boros is not going wild and getting 80 mice on the board bunnies aren't aren't, aren't breeding like rabbits we're knocking every every single head we can we're bashing it in okay so i'm going with four cut downs three bitter triumphs Two, three go for the throats. If you want to reduce it down to 10, I wouldn't be mad at you. If you wanted to, like, drop a go for the throat and maybe add, like, another Dazzling Denial, sure, man. Either way, we are going to try to lock them out those early games. The game is moving so fast right now. With Mono Red, with Boros, with um, with Mono Black Discard, we've got to crack some skulls, man. It, it, it's just the way it's got to be. When I tried to run this deck without as many counter spells and without as many removal i got i got beat up bad we need to plow the road to make sure our skeletons can get through so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go right here with forsaken minor one of the one of the benefits of targeting our opponent's uh, creatures or spells 
uh, is that we can bring him back. One black, two, two. He cannot block. He's a skeleton rogue. Whenever you commit a crime, of course, which is, of course, anything that targets um, an opponent controls cards in their graveyard, uh, <clears throat> all of that is a crime. So he can come back multiple times, and he's a one black drop right here. The Mockingbird. I'm going to save this to the end because I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do with that later on. Basically, it's going to imitate, but we're going to wait. Case of the Stash Skeleton, you're going to go four of this one on here. One black and one. Two one, black skeleton is suspected. Suspected means it can't block, um, but it does have menace, which is very useful. I also love the art design with the flowers and the knife right here. Great. It looks like a tarot card. Um, so we love that. If you don't control any suspected skeletons, you actually get to... Uh, do a demonic tutor effect, which is basically search your library for a card and then put it in your hand. So either way, we also have the problem with Forsaken Miner and Stash Skeletons. They can't block. They're not great blockers. So instead of blocking, we're just going to have to blast anything that anybody is putting down. I think that that is going to be our best bet. Since we're not going to have very many available blockers, we're just going to have to have kill cards. Uh, that being the case. Four, uh, four cut downs, three bitter triumphs. I'm not worried about losing the life or discarding. That's not too bad. And two go for the throats, as it were. That's that's basically how I do it. You can lay them out however you want, but I would leave at least room for 10 of them, like I said, 10 or 11. Um, Corpse of the Lost, of course, is your skeleton backbone here. No pun intended. Get it? Uh, this is the spine of your deck. One black and two enchantment. Skeletons you control get plus one and have haste. So critical. The ideal skeleton hand is going to be turn one Forsaken Miner, turn two stash, stash Skeleton, turn three Corpses of the Lost, and then all of a sudden you're swinging in for nine all of a sudden on turn three. And if you were on the play, that means they only have had two mana. You know, they may have only been able to play one spell. You're swinging out very aggressively. Um, you, it creates a 2-2 Black Skeleton Pirate Creature Token, which of course will become a 3-1 Haste when it comes in. And at the beginning of your end step, if you descended this turn, you may pay one life. If you do, return it to the hand so you can repay, replay Corpses of the Lost right there, which is very cool. You mean you can regenerate those tokens again and again. Again, accelerating those tokens is going to be very, very critical. Uh, throwing them down there like that. That's going to be really, really fun to do. Um... That is how we put pressure down range and really start an aggro train on them right there. Uh, and again, if something dies, meaning descend, a card goes into their graveyard, that actually can be triggered by Bitter Triumph. So we could do Bitter Triumph, throw away another card, uh, return Corpses of the Lost to our hand. Uh, we didn't have to pay the three. We threw something out that we didn't need. And then we get it back, and then we can replay it next turn, which is a really cool combination right there. I actually went with two Dark Star Augers in this. The part of the reason is, is that with Mockingjay, we are going to be kind of flying a lot. We are going to be doing a little bit of a flying tech. And I really like the fact that I'm getting cards off the top. You also can take a look here, and you can see this deck is pretty cheap. It, we're, we're not going to be taking there's not we're not actually going to accidentally pull an atali off the top deck right here but it will give us an extra card each time it'll also give us a two three flying bat warlock and we can offspring it in case we really want to go wild with it so yeah i mean a lot of times you're going to pull a mana or you're going to pull a one drop like three steps ahead or forsaken minor okay you're basically just playing like a you know um you're basically have a two three flying that's uh phyrexian um arena or something like that where you're just getting bonus cards every single turn and not really getting punished for it. Yeah, of course, you could hit a Gisa or something big, but the chances of that happening are low, and oftentimes they kill it. So I really like him in this position right here. I like him um, pulling up uh, with with uh, a little bit extra with the Offspring and dealing into that flying damage right there. Hunted Bone Brute is going to be right here. Uh, one black and two. You're going to want to play this face down. Don't look at the puppies. I have always say this. Don't look at the puppies. Face down first. Pay three. Put it face down. It's a 2-2 two -two colorless creature with uh, ward two. Then you can flip it up uh, for one black and one. All of a sudden, you have a 6-2 menace on the board. And since we didn't play it... Um, they don't get those doggos. They don't get those little puppies right there. And then we can swing in. You combine this with Corpses of the Lost, uh, it's not a bad combination either because then it's a seven, it's Menace, and when they die, so they get punished. Even when they kill this thing or they block it with two creatures, when it dies, they lose three life. Really, really punishing. It's a damned if you do, damned if you don't type of skeleton card that is extremely useful right there. Um, here comes the Mockingjay. This is the idea. Mockingjay is a one blue and X, uh, bird bard. Okay, one one. We're gonna put four of these. 
You may have Mockingbird enter as a copy of any other creature on the battlefield with mana value less than or equal to the amount of mana spent to cast Mockingbird, except it's a bird in addition to its other types and has flying. So not only is it a bird to make Dazzling Deny a little better, but it is going to be a flying version of Hunted Bone Brute. Now, when you play Hunted Bone Brute, specifically with Mockingjay, they will get the two puppies. But can you imagine immediately having a 7-2 Haste Menace flying? That'll close the game out right there. Or, um, because it, it takes a copy of whatever that uh, the casting cost, you don't have to spend very much. You can only spend one blue mana, and you get a copy of a 3-1 Flying Skeleton. It becomes a 3-1 Flying Skeleton Bird or a 3-2 Flying Skeleton Bird, and it only costs you one blue because, why? Tokens don't have any mana cost, it's zero. So as long as you pay that one blue and played it, you can come in as a copy of any single kind of skeleton that you want for very cheap. Either Stash Skeleton, Forsaken Miner only costs two, uh, Corpse of the Lost only costs zero, um, you know, any of these. And then with Corpses of the Lost, you're going to give it haste. You're going to give it plus one in haste too. So now you're duplicating your skeletons. You're turning this silly, silly bird right here into a skeleton bird bard and swinging in and surprising people with that extra power on the swing right there. That is kind of the secret tech. I think adding Dazzling Denial, Dark Star, and Mockingbird is really cool stuff right there. I'm going to throw in one Giza for the hell of it. She's a win more card, two black and three. I got another one of her on the sideboard. Sure, why not? Human Warlock, Ward 2, Pay 2. Skeletons and zombies get plus one, plus one in Menace, and whenever you commit a crime, you create two black zombie rogue creature tokens. This ability only triggers once each turn. Sure, no problem. With the amount of crimes we could commit with the counter spells and the direct re removal she's not bad and she's also hard to get rid of um if you are drawing a lot of cards if you're kind of stuck she can come and kind of get you unstuck which is extremely useful right here so that's kind of the new combos guys i really like mockingbird with skeletons i think it's a really good match i know a lot of people have wanted me to use it previously and i found a really good home for it here we did we did good quite well uh five islands nine swamps right there three dark slick shores one restless reef for the shark uh, underground river damages us we're gonna do two cavernous souls just so we can make sure that we can cast skeleton uh the only thing we really have is birds skeletons and humans uh that's gonna be that so we can look at, the, look at the statistics right there 15 creatures don't forget this 15 creatures is deceptive because there's actually um eight enchantments that generate a token so if you count those uh enchantments that immediately generate a token as creatures is actually 23 uh, creatures on the board skeletons warlocks rats bats uh birds bards bats beasts birds pretty funny a litter right there 14 instants yeah this is a gunfire deck guys we're, we're fanning the hammer here we're not we're not playing around we're not letting people keep board state um eight enchantments 23 lands all together on a 2.0 i was droughting you could probably have more success with a two with a two two I was having a little bit of trouble getting mana every time I got stuck on like two or three mana and I couldn't get right. So you can, of course, adjust that however you want. 25, um, 25 black, uh, 28 black, 9 blue, way more tip to black than, we, than, than necessary. That's why we have just a smattering of blue here. It is important. Playing your counter spells is important, especially in clutch situations, playing Mockingbird. So we don't want to completely neglect it, but that's what we're doing right there. Um... Let's see, on the sideboard, we have Long Goodbye. Maybe you want to do that one. Maybe another Gisa. I think probably Card Draw is the only thing that I would maybe recommend for pulling up for sideboard additionally. Maybe you want to do a little bit more uh, counter spells. You could throw in like a Deduce or something like that. You could even throw in uh, a Card Draw that is specifically like a, um, a Sacrifice and Draw like a um what's that one called like a corrupted conviction that's not bad if you want to sacrifice specifically sacrifice something like the um the stash skeleton so you don't have a suspected skeleton so you can do that again that's not a bad idea right there uh, all of those are good but overall i think we're pretty much locked in with this i don't really have too many sideboard suggestions uh that all being said you can throw another counter spell or two in there in case you want to so that's what we're looking at right there uh, vertical view, horizontal view, that's what it is. What do you think? Are skeletons back in Demir form? Do you like it? Do you love it? Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Here we go into some games. Uh, we're going to we're gonna end our run on Diamond right here, and we're going to try to climb up the last little bit. Standard rank, let's get into it. Hope you like the video.
Alright. He's on the play here, but we'll see. Discard, probably. Bandit's talent. Dark Slick. Boom. And probably a third one here. That's ridiculous, dude. I, I'm an asshole for trying to play a playoff meta, dude. That's it, it. Honestly, at a certain point, it is my fault, right? At a certain point, it is my fault for trying to fucking play off meta, huh? Because I'm throwing moves out, man, and and holy shit, look at this flurry. If he's only got garbage here, uh, he might be in trouble. He might be in trouble. Liliana the Viliana. Sacrifice that one. Alright, I got his ass. Alright, we're gonna turn it around, boys. We're gonna turn it around. I wanna I wanna dial this in. I really do. I'm trying to. I'm gonna steer this ship real hard. Maybe into some rocks, but I'm going to steer the fuck out of it. I was in Madurit. <laughs> out of context, one of the one of the funniest chat messages I've seen. Um, I was in Missouri today, Trex. It was awful. Boot Heel's a sad place. Even my cell tower is depressed and tried out. Wow. I've been to St. Louis a couple of times. Not a bad place. <laughs> What's up, Nathaniel Smith? Actually, MTG Hillbilly, my cleric stack was unbelievably strong. I, I had a great time with it. Um, uh, you might want to take a look at mine, because mine, I really like mine. I'm really not pulling well when it comes to cards either. I'm getting some really bad openers. Because um, right now would be a perfect time to have a counter spell. Um, Missouri loves company. I want him to pump. Come on, man, pump. You gotta hit him on the pump, boys. That's the only way to fly. There we go. Geo, dude. Hey, what's up, Chris Cast? Now we just started Chris Cast. We've been at it for 20 minutes. Should say at the bottom how long the stream has been going on. He could spend all of his mana to burn that up, but then it is his whole turn. He's gonna do an Ember Heart Challenger. He's probably gonna throw a pump on it. Yeah, that's fine. Pull the top card. Boom. blocks throwing a land to throw a land flip and grip pop, pop. we we hold our cut 
Oh no, you don't have to apologize. It's just it's a easy uh, it's easy shorthand to see uh, what's going on. If he's got the fling, he's good to go. He had the pump to get past the kill card. I didn't have the right kill card. 13. Nope. You should swing with that, man. That would be a great idea. What would a deck specifically about Blacksmith Sound look like? I think uh, equipment, probably. I think equipment would probably be the deck to um, to be throwing there. And we pulled a goddamn Dazzling Denial, which we don't need. Um, Yeah, you can't write, um, you can't write a, hey, what's up, Christmas? Raid Captain, unfortunately, we already got a Raid Captain, but you're in the queue, Christmas. Who do you want to go to after we already do this one? Oh, top deck hero. Raid Captain is decides who I raid out to. Somebody already redeemed a Raid Captain, so I can't raid out to two people tonight, so you would be on the next one. Unfortunately, no, it's a, it's a list, but I'll give you whatever raid you want, whenever day you want. Who are you trying to go to? Give me a night that you want it, you want the raid, and I got you. If you know when you're going to be live. Hell, you can even tell me the day of. You can tell me at noon the day and say that's, uh, yeah, Trex already called it way early. He called his raid captain way back. It was Trex. I think that's your best bet. Is to get mad about it and argue. Is he going to lose Ellis Ilkor? No. We're going to hold steady here. We have a nice hand. Dazzling Denial is good against the play. Um, or a kill card against uh, Ellis. escape. Hmm. I don't think I want that out. 
Oh, can't be killed. Gain. Drain. Nice. Corpse. Boom. There we go. What song? Corpse of the Lost gets that one out. Of the sketch skeleton. We got a good dazzling denial here. Skelebros. Skelebros doing what they do. Yeah, we already hit. Uh, yeah, I, I will. Uh, yeah, that's going to be at the end of the stream, though. But yeah, well, it's not the same. It's not the same out. Ten, challenge me is ten thousand. Throwing moves. Throwing moves. Hit him with the old Razzle Dazzle. I actually really like this. Especially with Mockingjay on the board, it's really good. I refund you your raid thing, man. You got a free. T you can select a song for me to sing if you want. For free. That's how generous that I get. Boom. 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 Ads. DJ, don't grease the dastardly. One 10k of what? Oh, uh, channel points. Um, yeah, they're on Twitch. There's Twitch going on at the same time. I got two, I got double streams since Twitch now allows you to double stream. That's why, guys, if I'm not answering you or don't see your messages, sometimes we're at, like, a grand total of, like, 60 people. Um. And, uh, there's, like, 30 or so, 30, 35 in one, and, and 20, 30 in another one, and I'm bouncing back and forth. There is a mechanic, an anti, uh, I don't know if we're going to do it. It sounds like we're getting a little bit of it in, um, there's a similar mechanic that I'd like to see that is anti, uh, anti bore, anti exile. It doesn't negate exile, but basically it's very similar to one that they've done before, which is if a creature gets exiled, it leaves a one, one copy of itself. Call it like ghostly or lingering or something. Um, so if it basically says if this creature creature or, or, or artifact gets uh, creature whatever if this permanent gets exiled it leaves a 1-1 one, one copy of itself behind which is um, really fun I think that that would be really cool alright if he doesn't run anything right now he might kill me if he runs, if he's got the perfect hand, um, he may get it. No, he not going to get it. Get out, man. GG. The Christmas. There's no actual way that I can refund it, dude. That's not. A, that's not a thing that can be possible. I told you I'll sing a song for you for free. I'll give you another. Uh, 
Is there a way that I can actually refund bits? Because I don't see that. Well, bits I can, but not channel. You can't refund channel points. Um, uh, but you can get a free song choice of your of your. That's worth sixty k. Six thousand. That's worth six thousand. Spoilers start tomorrow. I know. Need a little Christmas. Oh, I don't know how to refund channel points. Um, I've never done it. Hold on. I see it on my list here. Uh, community. Uh, viewer rewards. I don't know what I ne need a little Christmas. I'll sing keep a little dirt on my pillow for the dirt man. That's all I know. In case he comes to town, I keep a little dirt under the table for the dirt man. Uh, what do we want to get rid of? We'll get rid of Mocking Jay here. No, I'm not challenging you in the middle. I'm, I'm not fighting you in the middle of, uh, in the middle of, um, me recording a video. I told you at the end of the stream. Or when, when we have sufficient footage. I can't fight you in the middle of trying to record a video. I apologize. We're trying to film a skeleton video for tomorrow, man. Let's get rid of bitter. And... Coaxman, subscribe with Prime. Welcome. Go for the throat. Oh, I got that right back, so... Get that up. So he'll probably do the sacrifice. He'll lose three life. Dark Star Augur. Check it out now. Dark Star Augur. Right about now. Hey, well, thank you so much. Some, Bozo, some Bezos bucks. I appreciate the Bezos bucks. Dreams and Nightmares by Meek Mill. I don't know that song. Red, Black, Fling Deck and Standard. Cacophony Scamp and Heart File Halfling. Whatever it's mouse calls. Yeah, that's pretty good. He's going to draw. Lose three life. Uh, tiny bone. The tiniest bones he ever did. Is he gonna plus one to this card? Because I'm just gonna crash this into it if that's the case. Land. Let's see if we, uh, he's got the kill card in his hand. He may, he may not. I don't know. There's the kill. Oof. Very nice. You say it's worth it. Yep, you got rid of a land to throw. What'd you throw? You threw a, a fucking removal. Okay. Well, we might as well put it out. Vein Ripper. Yeah, we just got, we got fucking, we got fucked to death here. These discards. D 
Do do do. We're running a little bit better. We're uh, we're a little bit more on track here. Do do do. Merry Christmas. Yikes. Not great. Well, ah, that's not great. I think he's running discard, so I'm going to keep it. And if he's running something else, then it is what it is. Christmas. I love you, man. I need you to understand I'm filming a YouTube video. I'm filming, I'm, you're in the middle of a live set right now. I'm filming a YouTube video. It's going to be going on for a while, man. I, I, I feel like I said it a few times. Uh, uh, and I love you to death. You, I'll let you know. That's that's You'll know when I tell you. You'll, I'll say, hey, the YouTube vi fi vi filming portion of this stream is done. And you'll be... Uh, and you'll be available that that doesn't matter there's edited there's footage i gotta edit around which is making my life harder so i'm trying to film a youtube video right now as i say very frequently i'm a youtuber who streams i am not just a i am not a streamer i'm a youtuber who live streams his video filming hey what's up very vocal You'll know, I'll say, I'm done filming this video. And then you'll know I'm able to do all kind of fun stuff with y'all. Deep Cavern Value Bat. <clears throat> I'm not pulling any skeletons off the top. No, listen, I, I, I think it was simply a matter of miscommunicating. I, it's it's just a communication issue. I'm not upset. I'm not upset at all. I just wanted to make it clear what was going on. You're 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 not ruining anything. I don't want you to be upset. Why I'm not actively participating in these in this challenge is because we're trying to get the footage for a video video down. That's the goal. Very, very verbal. The hands I begin force mulligans helping me out. No, I am, I, again, Christmas. I'm not upset at all. I'm happy to fight you. I'm very excited for it. I just wanted to explain why I wasn't doing it right now. I'm not trying to duck. I'm not trying to rob you of your points. But there's a, a procession of the way that I, I run my stream. Doo -doo -doo. The video always comes first. Because the video is where I make my bread and butter. Boom. Oh, thank you. Uh, the original Kellen plus blacksmith talent would be okay. Yeah. Uh, what's up, Larry? How you doing? So I've fought basically the same three decks tonight. Um, 
I, I don't know if you guys have noticed that, but it's basically just three decks. We fought, uh, yeah, we fought three discard decks so far, which is pretty awful when you think about it. Boom XYZ, I've played weaker decks in play queue and I still get smashed by Boros. I still get kicked in the face by Boros. What's up, Texas Twister? How you doing, man? What's worse than a Texas Twister? Actually, you know what? Right now, I'm going to do for you... Uh... I'll give a shout out to Christmas, by the way. Lauren runs a great stream over there. Happy Labor Day weekend, everyone. Yes. I think this guy has nothing but uh, count, uh, discards in his hand, and he's not happy about that. You got a box of Bloomberg today? You know, I went to Target today, and um, I went over to the card section and the other card section. Literally, no single packs of Bloomboro. Not one. There wasn't anywhere in the store a single pack of Bloomboro. The only thing they had was the bundles, bundle box, and I didn't feel like dropping 50 bucks today. Um, oh, he'd be a, he'd be a, he'd, he's, a, he's, he's his job. He's a, he's a priest. Vito is a cleric. He's literally a preacher. His flavor text is something that he is preaching. Through the blood of the wicked we shall be redeemed. Hallelujah. Amen. This guy just not here or what's going on? I mean, the the whole thing is, um, uh, I hate to I hate to put too fine a point on it, but the whole vampire church and their whole aesthetic is medieval Catholics, or rather Renaissance age age of sale Catholics, sixteen seventeen hundred Catholics. That's their whole. Uh, I don't know if that was a salt rope or he legit disconnected. I think it might have been a salt rope. I think he might have been really upset about the way things shook out there. Oh yeah, I love their aesthetic. Yeah, it's, it's very good. They're colonialists who are literal vampires. They're, they're religious colonialists who are who are literal vampires. Um, I think I think where it's you know all subtlety went out of the window with that one. Um, I go first. This is not great, but whatever. Uh, it's 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 good though. I like that they have that. You know, like I said, that 15th century, 16th century Catholic aesthetic, talking about sacred blood and all this shit here and. You know, for the most part, they are um, pretty gnarly. Um, yeah, I. That's that's the thing. That's you know, that was the whole thing of Ixalan. And the irony is that they, there are good ones. There are ones that are not aggressively evil. But um, there are ones that are also aggressive. So, you know, you've got both of some guys that are trying to do good and trying to follow religion. There's even the vampires that don't want to do the, the whole conquistador thing anymore and go back to 
they they want to, they're supposed they they consider themselves to be like uh, stewards. Hey, what's up, Stillaputs? They consider themselves to be like stewards of the land, and they're gonna you know take care of things, and they're gonna. Um, uh, ooh, should I do I dare eat a peach here, guys? Ah, fuck it, why not? We'll use one chump lot. Because they had a, um, they had a schism. Much like large or organized religions do have schisms. They had a schism about whether or not they should be doing bad stuff or trying to be good. And, uh, it went a lot of different ways. You have Saint Alenda, who is like, we shouldn't be evil anymore, we need to use our powers for good. And then you have Vona DIA, though, who's like, let's be as fucked up evil as we possibly can, such as the way of things, etc., so forth, and on and on. Boom. Boom. Oh my goodness! What a freaking luck out right there. Um... Okay, hold on. Let me get rid of that. Vona de Aedo. Vona de Aedo. I want at least one blocker, because uh, I don't think he's going to have enough kill. Kill. Trax! I think he knows he's dead. He might just, he might just run here. He might just run. That's a good... Oh, yeah. I don't think this would have killed me. Um, the worst that could have happened is I drew a, um, I drew a Hellraiser and a Bone Brute, and that would have been eight. So I don't think that would have popped me out there. Volnatiaedo. Did you open it up yet, Hillbilly? You had him in the air? I didn't have him in the air. I couldn't kill him in one hit. I was worried if I didn't leave a blocker, he'd have something in hand that was like that hop to it thing or that uh, hair raising or whatever the fuck it's called where everybody gets plus two and trample and he could have got me on the kickback. So I wanted at least one or two blockers. What's it called? Uh, hair, hair, hair alarm? I, I can't remember. Five alarm? It's a rabbit pun. Um, ca -ca 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 combo, 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 combo. Um, yeah, it's there's a. Oh fuck! I don't have any black. I don't have any black mana. Can I hold them off me? <sighs> Ops goes first. Oh man, I gotta I force mulligan. Yeah. Okay. Well, we got that. Yeah. I I think that that was the best bet there. I think we might be, uh... Okay, so we gotta cut down so we can stop the pump. Rabbit response. There we go. Yeah. So if he gets a rabbit response, he could've maybe kicked back me for real hard. Um... He could've maybe... He could've maybe really pushed. So, it's hard to say. There we go. I knew it was a rabbit pun. All right, load the fuck out of this, man. I want you to load this down with every single fucking card that you could possibly think of. No, 
No? You didn't want to? That's fine. You don't have to. Okay, so let's do this. Oof. Okay. Heart fire hero. Hearts on fire. Your desire. He's gonna pump. Throw the pump at it, man. If I can get a mana, I, I think I'd be okay. No, he's not gonna go for it. Hmm. Let's try to let's out let's outgun him here. Because he's gonna go for it. He's gonna try to he's gonna try to throw on something to make it sure that I can fling at him hard. And I want him to gas out. There we go. I absolutely needed him to fucking gas out there. Lord Soren, welcome to the show. Ooh. Fellow face down card enjoyer. Corpse of the Lost. Hit. Boom. Alright, if I can get a mana, I might be able to do some here. He's gonna flip up. He had to throw away that guy. Monastery Swift Spear. Going in for two. Ooh, okay. We got some. Fuck, it's a Dark Slick. Alright, um. Fuck. Uh. Regular mana would have been perfect, because then I could have hit that, mocked it, and. Three and seven is gonna be ten. Should we be safe here? Let's be safe. Let's be safe. It does give them puppies, but we can do but it will fly, so that's the other thing. It will fly if we do that. Target that, he's gonna push that in. Slick shot. Gonna go in. Oof. Dark slick. Okay, so if I do bone brute flying, if I do bone brute flying, that'll be that'll be enough, right? Right? Bone Brute flying, it'll be a 3-3, three, three, it'll be a skeleton, oh fuck it. Heart of the cards, baby, heart of the cards. Yeah, I got his ass. I got his ass on lock here. Boom, boom, boom. Dring, Bone Brute dies. 
loses three, hits, pops. Whoo! Okay. Back in action. Back in action. I wasn't sure myself. I, I felt nervous there. Oh, had me nervous. Let me shout you out, Lord Sword. All right. All right, boys. We got it in tonight. We pulled it around. That's 7-1. Seven, 7-1 one. Seven, one overall. That's not bad at all. And a little bit of gain. 20, uh, 20 gems. We're 20 gems away from the mastery pass, which is, uh, which is crazy good. I have never seen Snow say something is too spicy. So Snow, she was her her growing up. Her stepdad was Mexican. I don't know if she wants me telling everybody, but oh well. Um, and so she grew up eating like smoked poblanos basically in every single meal. Um, and I have never seen her like we went to Dave's Hot Chicken the other day, and she was like she got like the one under the hottest. And she was like, this this shit is fucking weak sauce. This is for fucking babies. I'm, I gotta get the hottest the next time we come because this is fucking losers. This is Loserville USA here. I hate this. And I was like, damn. <laughs> damn. Um. Oh, yeah. You go to Jamaican restaurant, you're gonna get that. You're gonna get that real deal meal, man. You're gonna get the jerk chicken, two pieces of jerk chicken, the noodles, the macaroni and cheese. Uh, you're gonna get all, you're gonna, you're, they're gonna, no, they're gonna feed your ass. Oh, yeah. You're gonna get the, the, the potatoes, the everything, the sides, the greens, yeah. Them, 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 they, you go to them $8 houses or them $5 houses down in, uh, wherever, uh, down in, down in, uh, Miami or, or Delray or whatever, Palm Beach. Bro, they will feed your ass. You, if, if they fucked up, they're like, listen, if, if 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 you're if you're leaving hungry here, we done fucked up some way, man. We done seriously fucked up if you're hungry, because there's no way you're gonna get a fucking pound of rice with that bitch. So you got me talking about food now. You got me talking about food now, guys. And now I'm all fucked up. Now I'm hungry. Now I want to door dash a bunch of Jamaican jerk chicken and macaroni and cheese. Greek. I love Greek food. Ooh, yeah, that's another good one. Very vocal. Look at the Rotten Mouth King. Holy shit, there he is. Um, I'm gonna lose four life. I don't care. And then I'm gonna go ahead and win the game. There we go. Very nice. It was the power of food, guys. The power of food, the power of food won it there. Um. Yeah, I was, I was nervous. I don't know why I was so nervous, man, but Mono Red, um. Uh, mono red makes me nervous, bros. What do we call this one? We call it... We call it grin... Since we're mocking... Grinning skulls. Yeah, there you go. Mono boring. Tell me about it. Um... Since we're mocking him. Not bad at all, guys. Um... Nice couple of plays there. I, I think overall we, we did prove our point that you can put a skeletons in. And we beat... Geez, we beat one, two, three, four. Um, we beat four mono blacks and two reds. Uh, that's pretty impressive. Uh, that's pretty. I'm I'm pretty happy with it overall. I think there's a lot of tricks in here, and I think I feel like I've added enough Bloomberg, especially with Dark Star Augur flying, focusing on flying, and a, a splish splash of that um, a splish splash of that counter spell goodness uh, for your pleasure. I think we're on to something with this one. So. I'm going to leave it right there for tonight, boys. I've been Jay Villain. You've been great. Thank you for coming. Bye-bye.